Hello everyone, this video introduces briefly chemical bonding, noble gases and how to draw the dot and cross diagram for different ions. Let us first look at a unique group of elements called the noble gases. They are a group of non-metals that are gases at room temperature. It was found that when an electric voltage is applied across a glass tube containing different noble gases, the tube glowed with different colours. The noble gases are found in group 0 of the periodic table. Apart from helium, which has 2 valence electrons, the other noble gases have 8 valence electrons. They do not need to gain, lose or share electrons to achieve a fully filled valence shell. Therefore, they are unreactive and will not react to form any compounds. Here are some properties of noble gases. They are monatomic, meaning they exist as individual atoms, not bonded to other elements. They are colourless gases at room temperature because of their low melting and boiling points. This means that the forces of attraction between these atoms are very weak. Noble gases are so insoluble in water, unreactive, or otherwise called inert and odorless. Other atoms, however, can form bonds unlike the noble gases. When two or more different types of atoms combine chemically, compounds are formed. But what does it mean to be chemically combined? The number of valence electrons dictate the chemical properties of that element. Therefore, in the chemical reaction, electrons are lost, gained or shared between atoms. In the formation of sodium chloride, the sodium atom loses one electron to form a sodium ion, while the chlorine atom gains an electron to form the chloride ion. In the formation of a water molecule, Electrons are not transferred but rather shared between oxygen and hydrogen. Ionic bonds are usually formed between metals and non-metals, as in the case of sodium chloride, while covalent bonds are usually formed between two non-metals in the case of water. After forming bonds, the atoms achieve a fully filled valence shell, just like the noble gases. Ionic bonding refers to the electrostatic forces of attraction between ions. An ion is a charged particle formed when an atom gains or loses electrons. Let's recall the electrons are arranged in energy levels called electron shells, with the valence shell being furthest from the nucleus. We use dot and cross diagrams to represent the arrangement of electrons in an atom, molecule or an ion. If we look at the periodic table, we see a relationship between the group number and the number of valence electrons. A group 4 element has 4 valence electrons, while group 5 element has 5 valence electrons. The period number tells us how many electron shells an atom has. Period 1 elements have only 1 electron shell, while period 3 elements have 3 electron shells. Take for example the sodium atom. Sodium is in period 3, therefore it has 3 electron shells, and the electrons are distributed among these 3 electron shells. The first shell can hold a maximum of 2 electrons. The next one can hold a maximum of 8 electrons. And the remaining electrons go into the valence shell. Since sodium is in group 1, 
it has one valence electron. Cations are positively charged ions. They are formed when an atom loses electrons. This is the sodium atom. It has one valence electron. This electron can be lost to form an ion. And notice that in the ion, there is one less electron shell. And the outermost shell is now fully filled, just like that of a noble gas. When an electron is lost, there is now more protons than electrons, making this particle positively charged. We can also represent this change in terms of an equation. We start off with a sodium atom. We form a sodium ion, and an electron is given off. When we compare a sodium atom and a sodium ion, we find that the sodium ion has one less electron. On losing that electron, the sodium ion is positively charged. Calcium is in group 2. In order to form the fully filled valence shell, it can either lose 2 electrons or gain another 6. But it would be easier for calcium to lose 2 electrons rather than to gain 6 of it. On losing 2 electrons, there are now 2 more protons than electrons, therefore there is a 2 plus charge on the calcium ion. The calcium ion now has a fully filled valence shell. Again, let us compare the calcium atom and the calcium ion. So far, we have seen that two metals, sodium and calcium, lose electrons to form cations. What about anions? Let's take for example chlorine. Chlorine has this electronic configuration. It has seven valence electrons. And instead of losing seven electrons, it would be easier to just gain one electron to form the fully filled valence shell. Notice now that we represent the gain electron with a cross to show that it has come from another atom. In this equation, we show that the chlorine atom gains an electron to form the chloride ion. Since the chloride ion has more electrons than protons now, it becomes negative charge. Here is another example using oxygen. Oxygen has 6 valence electrons because it's in group 6. Instead of losing 6 electrons, it would be easier to gain just 2 to form the oxide ion. So because there are 2 more electrons than protons, the oxide ion has a 2 minus charge. Here's a comparison. Again, when you form ions, the ions always have a fully filled valence shell. Here is a summary showing various metal ions and non-metal ions. Beside each name is the chemical formula of that ion, and we put the charge as a superscript. When the charge is plus 1, we do not put a 1 in front of the charge. We only put the number when the charge is 2, 3 or greater. For non-metal ions, they follow a naming rule in which the name ends with IDE. So a nitrogen atom would form a nitride ion, an oxygen atom would form an oxide ion, a fluorine atom would form a fluoride ion and so on and so forth. If we look at the periodic table, we see a pattern in terms of the position 
of the element in the periodic table and the charge of the ion form. Elements in group 1 tend to form ions with a 1 plus charge. Atoms in group 2 tend to lose their two valence electrons to form ions of a 2 plus charge. Now on the right, we see that atoms in group 5, because they have 5 valence electrons, they gain 3 electrons to form an ion with a 3 minus charge. The same goes for elements in group 6 and 7. So I hope that this video gives you a better idea on how to draw the dot and cross diagrams for different ions. Thanks for watching.